To the question of the week, do the Nigeria police investigate before the arrest or arrest before investigating the reality? Uh, that's that, that's one, of, one of the challenges we have in this country. Police don't do enough investigations before even going ahead to court to prosecute uh, matters against suspects. I think they need to do more investigations, thorough investigations before going ahead to court to, to prosecute suspects or matters. Going by uh, the current trends, we'll find instances uh, where police simply rush to, usually the magistrate courts obtain uh, the remand orders before actually proceeding to investigations. So by and large, I believe uh, what we've come to realize is that uh, it's basically uh, subject to each case uh, they have to handle. I cannot stand here and give uh, a conclusion on whether they thoroughly investigate the matters before um, they go to court. So I believe it depends on each case they handle and uh, at times as well the subject of those investigations. Well, that's the program this week. But just before we go, some of the trending stories from the courtrooms. We begin in Lagos, where the former permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Labor, Clement Ilo, has denied the allegation of stealing the sum of 14 million 167,000 Naira from the defunct federal government's subsidy reinvestment and empowerment program, SHORP. At the resumption of the trial, Mr. Ilo explained that 14 million was budgeted to organize the Maritime Labor Convention for Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agents in Imasa and the Ministry of Labor. He further explained that the money was paid into an account bearing the name Ilo and Bob Associate. He says 3.5 million naira was expended on logistics, transport, stationaries and honorarium, while 3.5 million naira is still in the account the money was paid to. Clement Ilo was arraigned on October the 16th, 2017 by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on a three-count charge bordering on stealing by conversion of property to the tune of 14 million naira. He has pleaded not guilty to the charges preferred against him. The trial judge, Justice Olua Tony Taiwo, adjourned the case to the 25th and 26th of October. Meanwhile, in Abuja, a magistrate court has struck out the suit against journalist Jones Abiri, describing his detention as criminal intimidation. This follows an application brought by Mr. Abiri's lawyer, Mr. Samuel Ogala, that the courts transfer Mr. Abiri's trial to Bayelsa, since that was where he was arrested. Mr. Orgala, in the preliminary objection, asked the court to hold that it lacked territorial jurisdiction to try the journalist in Abuja when the alleged crime was said to have taken place in Bayelsa. The magistrates Chukwe Meka and Weke agreed with the defense and thereafter struck out the suit. The federal government had arraigned Mr. Abiri before a magistrate court in Abuja. Before the arraignment, he had been detained by the state security service for two years without trial. And finally, a federal high court in Lagos has dismissed an application seeking stay of proceedings in the trial of a former governor of Abia State, Oji Kalu, for alleged 7.65 billion naira fraud. The applications were filed by Kalu's firm, Slok Nigeria Limited and Ude Odeogu, who are co-defendants with the ex-governor in the criminal case. Although the case was adjourned last week for the defendants to open their defense, they asked the court to stay for the proceedings pending the outcome of some appeals that they filed. Counsel representing Kalu's firm says he's also challenging the jurisdiction of Justice Muhammad Idris to continue hearing the case after he, the judge, had been elevated to the Court of Appeal. The ex-governor is accused of diverting state funds into the account of Slok Nigeria Limited, a company the EFCC claims was owned by Kalu and his family members. That's the program this week. Feel free to send in your comments. Do also remember that you can watch this episode and past episodes of the program on our YouTube channel. I'm Millicent Walker. Many thanks for watching. <laughs>